I was slandering their name through like all my social medias and I don't give a fuck because you guys literally made me lose all my hair. <laughs> Sana, sana, culita de rana, <risa> Buenos días, buenas noches, bienvenidos a mi canal. <risa> so, in today's video, we're having a lot of fun. By fun, I mean you guys are having fun and I'm not because I'm going to be drunk as hell. Hijo de su bomba, madre. Oh my god, like, I, I really don't want to do this video, but I guess I will, you guys. You guys like asked for it, so so you guys already know how we do it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's put that out the camera because YouTube be trying to demonetize. I'm just drinking water, like healthy. Aquí está mi agüita. Okay, but seriously, y'all, I'm going to be taking a shot for every every single makeup shot. Wait, wait, wait. I'm already, am I am I drunk already? <laughs> I'm gonna be taking a shot for every single makeup step. I seen this video on TikTok and then I seen Adam do it. Oh my god, he's so funny! Bomb YouTube idea. <laughs> Let me snatch that up. So yeah, let's get into it. I don't know why, but literally every time I'm supposed to drink like a night out drinking, like I know I'm about to get drunk, I get a headache. Like I literally get a headache every damn time. I haven't had a headache in weeks. Why do I have a headache right now? Like don't be a wussy. <laughs> do I like this angle? Is it giving BBL or is it giving Fupita? Fupota? Or is it giving the Fupas out? Okay, so let's just zoom in a bit. <laughs> Bomb? Okay, y'all, this romper's by um, Shop Eternal Sunshine on Instagram, by the way. So if you wanna go look them up. Okay, it's currently like 8 o'clock at night right now. I'm just gonna get drunk on a regular day, either little Wednesday night. <laughs> I wanted to do this on a weekend, like, so I can go out and stuff. But I forgot I have no fucking friends here. Just kidding, I actually do. Like, I'm so popular. Like, you guys won't even know. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm just stalling because I don't want to take the first shot. Me vale verga if you guys see my fucking fupa, okay? This is a natural body. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Next. Like, how do I even do makeup? Like, it's just mascara and, like, lipstick, right? <laughs> uh-huh. <sighs> Let's just get into it. Okay, so we're starting with my primer, Bisu. Oh my god, you know what I need to do? This mustache is horrendous. Like, I haven't been wearing my glasses, so I haven't realized, like, I can't see that good. I looked into the car mirror today. Why did my mustache almost look like Michael's? I looked like I had a full-grown man mustache. So I need to chop that hole down right now. <laughs> Wait, does this count as a step? Like, this isn't makeup. This is a necessity. This is for survival. God, that's a lot. <laughs> Wait, let me clean up these brows, too. Why is the hair growing in the wrong places? In the brows, in the mustache, but not in this damn scalp! If you guys didn't know, I'm literally losing hair because of Solidinario. The Solidinario shampoo, we got beef. But why did they email me? Solidinario literally emailed me, y'all. And they're like, I seen your post. <laughs> oh my god, like are you guys trying to press? Like are you guys really trying to squabble it? We trying to get it down? Because it sounded a little passive aggressive in the intro. Should I read it to you guys? I'm gonna read it to y'all. Let me take this damn shot. Bondo, 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 bondo. Oh my god, guys, I can't open it. I guess I have to change video. Psych! I know, fing pussy. Why do I feel already drunk? <gasps> the email, the email. Let's get to the email. I'm putting you guys on T right now because I was gonna post it on my spam, but I was like, what if they're stalking me? I was slandering their name through like all my social medias, and I don't give a f because you guys literally made me lose all my hair. Hi Alexis, we saw your post about your experience with our product. I wanted to express how sorry we are to hear about what has occurred. You guys are not sorry because it's still on the shelves. Take it off the shelves. And run me 500,000 right now in my bank account because that's how much this hair costs, okay? Virgin. Uh, we hear you and do not take your concerns lightly as it is important for us to ensure that you are happy with Sol de Janeiro. I will never be happy with y'all again. We would love to set up a call with you to understand the situation and further hear from you about how this affected you. Again, we are so sorry this has been your experience and hope to hear from you soon. Y'all will hear from me when I get a deposit of 10,000. Make it 20,000. That was unforgivable. What's next? Concealer. That shot was so damn nasty. Give me one margarita, I'ma open my legs. Give me two margaritas, I'ma give you some head. Give me three margaritas, I'ma put it in my tush. Okay, so cute beauty. I was thinking about doing like a full beat, but is that really what I wanna do? Like, is that really what we wanna do? Okay, so I'm gonna take the shot after this. Let me blend it, relax, 
relax. Y'all are bad influences. Why'd you guys click on this video? You guys want to see me f up? <laughs> Damn, I think that shot wants to get out. My body's rejecting it. Guys, I'm so excited for the Buchana video though. It's just like a really long process because it's literally a week long video. So I think it's going to come out not the next video after this but the next one and i'm so excited because i'm really going out i'm getting my nails done monday i'm gonna have you guys help me pick what nails i should get <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna ask you guys on tiktok or like on instagram i low-key want something red like i feel like red is just staple buchona vibes you know oh my god you know what i just realized why does my boyfriend's barber watch our youtube videos it's just so funny when people like we know in real life watch our youtube videos because i'll be acting a mess he be acting a mess together we're a damn mess yeah he was like your girlfriend and her buchona vibe stuff i was like oh my god life is just embarrassing okay i was gonna tell you guys something but i forgot and my forehead feels so huge it feels like i'm going on a mountain like it's like you guys I'm not gonna talk about it. You guys can see the breakdown in my buchona bin when I literally realized I'm going bald. So stay tuned for that video. But y'all, I missed you guys. Like, what's going on? Should I do more of these sit down, get ready with me videos? I like want to, but I feel like I already do it a lot in my vids. Usually in like my weekly vids, I do like a little get ready with me in it, you know? But should I do like a video specifically for get ready with me where I'm just like talking for two hours straight? Would you guys want to hear that or no? The bass. She's there, she's done. You know what that means. Bando, 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 bando. This is literally nasty. You know what I need? Some Henny. <laughs> or some Dulce Faro Cuche. Shot the numero dos. <laughs> I need to tell you guys some tea. Boop. <laughs> Look. It's like it literally doesn't want to go on my system. It wants to leave. But y'all, the tea is, should I get a BBL? So I could really be Butana, you know? I'm just kidding. Like, honestly, I never really thought about getting a BBL, like, ever in my life. Like, obviously, they're bad bitches. Like, girls with BBLs, like, oh my god, like, I want that, you know? But then at the same time, I want to be a natural queen. But if you guys watch Britney GMB, dude, her BBL, like, she made me want to book the appointment today. She looks so good. <laughs> She looks so good. It's actually like insane. Like I want to cry because she literally looks so bomb. That's for the first time ever in my life when I thought like, do I want one? Like, can I join the club? I don't think I could ever get a BBL. But the only reason I would want to is for my hip dips because I have really bad hip dips. And then like I'm shaped like a cereal box when I want to be shaped like a Coca-Cola. Okay, what's next? Bronzer. You guys already know what's coming. You guys know what's coming. Bisu, 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 What I wanted to tell you guys, I was talking to this lady we know, Mia Michael. She be giving us like all the tea, all the cheese of Colima, bro. She's been here like since it was a freaking little pueblito. Like not even a little pueblito, like littler than a pueblito. And Colima's kind of big now. I was telling her how my hair is freaking falling out from that stupid product I used. And uh, she put me on this product that she got for her daughter recently. She cleans houses of the daughter of the owner of this business. She was telling me about it. It's like a very small local brand here in Colima. But this is what I got. The shampoo. Shampoo de cobre. Copper shampoo. Like it has copper in it. I was like, I didn't know we were putting pennies in our hair. <laughs> that shit was not funny. Or was it, guys? But yeah, it's literally of copper. And I was like, wait, be for real right now. Like, don't be lying to me. And she was telling me these stories, y'all. Because they don't just make shampoo. They also make, like, this spray. Like, everything has copper. And it's just, like, hygiene, self-care stuff. Like, they have this spray that, like, clears infections. It clears, like, skin imperfections. Like, everything. She was telling me that she got that spray when COVID was really bad. Her son got really sick. He had a hella high fever. It was so bad. His face was, like, flushed red. Like, it was really bad. And she just did, like, four sprays in his throat of that stuff. Literally 30 minutes later, he was fine. Completely fine. Cute. So I was like, uh, what? Bob? Bob.com? The craziest story she told me. So the grandma of this, like, brand, the girl who made the brand, her mom, she used the face cream that they have with this brand. She lived till 103 years old, yeah. She told me when she seen that old lady, like, her face was, like, literally, like, because the lady had not one single wrinkle on her face, and she's literally 103 years old. 
Are you serious? Yeah, so when she told me that, I was like, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. You got me. You got me. Let me let me go buy this shit, like, for real. Like, how she was telling me all this stuff, it was, like, too good to be true, you know? And she was like, I put it on my life. These are all experiences that I've had, you know? Because it's not even her product to be selling. So I was like, let me try it out then. Let me get that cream, though, like, ASAP. So I'm about to take a shot for this, like relax. I'm not gonna forget any shots. I'm really excited to try this. Like I'm gonna try it for a couple weeks and if I see any major growth, then I actually wanna like work together with them because it's a really small local brand. Like they're not even branched out in any pharmacies or nothing in, in Mexico. Like if it's good as she says, then I'm gonna invest in that shit. We're gonna bring it to the States, okay? To put you guys on. Okay, so let's take a shot. Do you guys remember when everyone danced like that in high school? Like, I feel like nobody dances like that no more. Like, when this song came on, you know the function was functioning, okay? <laughs> like, BOM! All she trying to do is get naked, naked. And she gon' shake it like a red mask. I don't think I ate that one up, but let's eat this shot up! Yeah, let's go! You know how, like, white people clubs be? Let's go! Joder, su bomba madre. Se me quitó, se me quitó. La pinche suerte. Se me quitó, se me... Why am I buffering? Se me quitó, se me quitó. El pinche dolor de cabeza. I'm not even drunk right now. Like, seriously? Plácate, mija. Por fin. What's next? Mascara. Am I drunk? Like, am I literally drunk or am I literally slow? Because this is concealer. <laughs> Okay guys, but I feel like it's time to do a life update. Like I don't really be updating you guys or do I? Am I lying? Like I feel like I overly update you guys on every single thing that's going in my mind. But lately y'all, not to get emotional or nothing. But I've been so, so proud of me and Michael y'all. I know you guys don't see the behind the scenes, but y'all know how unactive I used to be on YouTube. First of all, like thanks to my editor, she literally saved my life. Like me and Michael have been so consistent with YouTube. Like we literally have a weekly schedule of when we're gonna record. Like we have our content planner like lined up. Like this has never been me before, you know? And like the hard work really Really has been paying off and I love to see it pay off because it's just really like it makes me want to even go harder with better ideas to give more to you guys like ideas be flowing through my head like crazy and before it was never like that like I never had ideas bro like it was always the same old boring shit. and now I get like new ideas every day like the most randomest places like I'll be taking a dookie and I'm like wait Mom idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like being productive has a big part in that because like we've been going to the gym every single day I've been going to spinning every day and the gym and he's been going to the gym every day And we're just like we've really been on our stuff and I love to see it because dude We used to be some way wellness for real <laughs> But honestly, I just feel so much happier with myself and with life when I'm productive like y'all I used to sleep in till like 12 Okay, first of all, why the fuck do I look like a ghost? <laughs> literally we used to wake up at like 12 like literally in the afternoon we used to do that every day and like even though i was sleeping so much and get so much sleep i would be so so tired throughout the day like it was actually crazy like i would want to get coffee every single day i wouldn't even want to record i wouldn't want to do nothing and now i'd be waking up 7 8 a.m every single day life is fun you know what i mean i like to get done and i like to be productive like it makes me feel so good like energized and like today you know oh shit. I need to take a shot. Shot, 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 Everybody. I woke up hella early to like do my little morning chores. Right after that, I knocked out till like 12, 1. Like I slept a long time and the whole day today, I just felt so horrible. Like no energy. I got a headache. Like I just didn't feel good at all. Like seriously, except for right now. Like I'm finally feeling some damn energy. Like that just shows. Like I can't be sleeping late no more. And you guys shouldn't be sleeping late either. Like it's crazy when you wake up early and you realize like how much you can get done just by waking up like a few hours early Like it's actually crazy Like I'll be getting so much done in the morning and it'd be like barely 12 and I'm like so what do I do now? <laughs> Before it used to be like I was always chasing time like oh my god like the day is going by so fast Like literally I can't do nothing now Let's get productive y'all what the f*** up Go to the gym Don't even go to the gym to lose weight Literally it just makes you feel better Like as humans We need to be active You know what I mean And I feel like Now we're getting all philosophical Like smart queen Like seriously like in the US Fast food all of that Like it makes you feel like shit 
it makes you feel lazy culture in the u.s is very lazy i want to say very lazy because like everybody be working like hella hard at the same time like i don't know how to explain it let's take a shot like bitch, stop trying to get philosophical you literally dropped out of college let's not talk about it shot I always feel so cold after a shot. Can you guys see my goosebumps? Can you guys see them? But can you guys see them though? But like, can you guys see them? <laughs> What's next? Powder. Also y'all, I am taking this piece of shit back to Muebles Deco. I don't know why everybody's trying to play with me like these few months. Sold the Janario. I should still got beef with you. I don't care about that email. Until there's one milli in my bank account, we got beef for life. Muebles Deco, we got beef también, cabrones. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué chingado es eso? Yeah, so I'm gonna take it back. I'm actually thinking about getting a white one. And I wanna make a beauty room. And I just want it to be so girly in me, you know? I just love cute things. Like, it just brings something out of me. Like, I don't know, like, childhood trauma. I don't know, but like, I love cute things. Like, San... What is it called? San... San Rio? Let me not make a fool of myself. Yeah, San Rio. Like, those little characters, like, from Japan and stuff, like, they're so cute. I just want it everywhere, like, everywhere, you know? Like, I don't know why it just gives me a joy, just, like, cute little things. Let me show you guys my planner. <laughs> I need you guys to see how cute this planner is. I've had planners, like, digital planners before, and I've never been able to actually, like, be on them every day and, like, actually use it. Because it's just, like, too hard for my eyes. Like, it's too much going on, you know? And look how cute this planner is. Oh, it's literally a Space Kitties planner. Like, are you serious? Are you dead serious? Can you guys see? <laughs> That's so cute. So yeah, so I'm gonna make a beauty room. Oh my God, is this another step? Does this count? Another shot, shall we? Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos like me doing my beauty room. It's actually gonna be like the guest room. Like it's gonna have a bed in it and everything, but it's gonna be like my room, you know? Like if me and Michael ever get an argument, I'm going to my room. Don't, don't talk to me. Yeah! Let's take this shot. Matter of fact. I feel like I need to slow down because like every time I go out, I drink so much, y'all, because like I'm trying to get f***ed up fast so like I can have fun because when I go out, especially me and Michael, like we both have such bad social anxiety. Like we cannot go out and not drink. Like it's actually kind of sad, but like we just can't do it. Like we're so awkward. Like we'll be dancing like, hey, it up, like turn it up hey like hella stiff boring like we just have bad anxiety so i'll be like shot 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 bing, 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 to get faded fast and i don't realize that i'm taking so many shots and then i'm like shot 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 but it's always like the funnest night of my life so me vale verga. eyebrows let's do eyebrows and i feel like that's what's gonna happen in this video <laughs> But it's all good. I don't really feel it, but like I feel it on its way. Okay, what was I gonna tell you guys? Like, why does nobody talk about living with a man? Like, let's talk about it. Cause I know a lot of girls here. Wait, you guys let me know how old are you guys in the comments? Like for real, like how old are y'all? Like I'm pretty sure my audience is mostly like older high school, college, out of college type girls, you know? So I feel like a lot of you guys are in the beginning stages of getting like a home, like all that, or just like about two in a few years, or just getting your home. Not home, like apartment type stuff. We're in the USB crazy and then wages don't match like it's the crazy part like seriously like if i was not doing social media like 100 percent, i would be living with my parents till i'm 40 years old like seriously or i would get like a trailer home you know what i mean like those mini houses like i don't know why people be trying to make fun of like trailer houses and stuff because you could make it so cute inside like don't even play like that's bomb because who the hell is buying a house at like in her 20s in this economy girl i Girl, bye. But let me get to what I was talking about. Living with a man. We love it. And sometimes there's some faults. The faults being, boy, you're not decorating the house. Like, literally, leave it to me. The professional. Like, obviously, I try to implement both our styles together, integrated. <coughs> Okay, that was fucking nasty. I'm sorry. No, it's literally not nasty because we all do it. But for example, I like very modern, but I like like airy. I actually, it's hard, bro. Like I like so many things. It's actually so crazy. Like I don't even know what I want my damn self. Like I love modern. Okay, bomb. But I also love like colorful shit. Like, I literally love colorful stuff, but then, like, it's really hard to make colorful interior look good, you know? Like, I still haven't got the hang of it. That's why our house is, like, mainly, like, modern black, grays, whites, you know? Because that's easy to do. And then I also love, like, the Mexican tiles, like, very colorful. I like modern when it comes to furniture, you know what I mean? And then Michael, he actually is pretty good. He likes modern, but darker. Like, our room is kind of dark theme. Floors are gray. The wall is gray. The sheets are black. Personally, like, that wouldn't be me if it was only my room it's literally hitting me right now as i speak 
Oh shit! Oh shit, guys! Hey! That Superman, that hey, watch me home! Uh, it's literally hitting me. I just felt it hit me. What do I do, guys? What do I do? So I kind of implemented our style into one. But when I get my beauty room, like, I'm sorry. I'm going straight girly pop bomb princess vibes. I guess that rest of the house can be neutral, modern, I guess. I fucking guess. Like, at the same time, like, I really like it. Then I also love color. But then that too, like, too much color, it's hard to make it look good. Guys, I think I'm going to connect to my white side. I'm going to start using white paper phrases. So stop fucking lollygagging and leave a like and a subscribe. Thank you. Did I just literally fuck up my era? Ah. For my girls that have gamer boyfriends, let me know how you guys feel about this. Because I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about this. But like, I low-key love when my boyfriend be playing his games and just minding his own damn business, you know? <laughs> like, that might be bad to say. I'm literally fucking up my era. Oh my god, what in the tarnation is this shit? Why am I tearing up? <laughs> it's not that serious, girl. But like, we're literally together 24-7 because we, like, we literally work together, you know? We do social media together. So we're together 24-7. So sometimes, obviously, I'm going to want my own f***ing time and he can have his own time. And like, I love when he plays games because I'm like, it's girly pop time, you know? Hey, let me know how you guys feel. Like, 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 can I fuck? speak right like 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 even like down below yeah period i'm actually scared for the end of this video because i'm literally talking gibberish and my eyebrows these are not sisters these are not primos not even related these are acquaintances walking down the street that say bueno dias because what the f is this let's take a shot damn it i'm out of water should i just say f it? i'm gonna say f it. at this point whoa 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 is that normal like i'm all right to throw up <laughs> I'm like me thinking about life. <laughs> Every time I take a shot, I'm cold. Like the nippies are hard. <sighs> this might be the funnest video I've ever done. This is gonna be a fucking long video. Like, are you guys still here? Like, if you're here, leave a strawberry down below. Like, I feel like I'm literally talking to you guys in real life. Like, I feel like we're dead-ass besties, you know? I hate saying besties. Like, for some reason, like, I hate saying besties. Like, I'll never be on some, hey, besties, sh Like, no, no. Friends, best friend, maybe, maybe. I viene la buchona, vestida de la moda. What should we talk about now? <laughs> literally, every shot, I'm fucking throwing up not throwing up i'm burping what get it together girly pop i'm gonna be mad if this makeup comes out bad because i'm actually feeling a little bit tipsy guys let's get deep right now like let's get deep like i be thinking it's actually crazy okay so i'm 21 years old like my mom she's like 30 something like maybe in her 40s like it's just crazy like michael's grandma my grandma they're like old like it's crazy how much people have lived on this earth and we be thinking we know it all but yeah i know it all don't tell me shit. I was thinking about this today. I was like, because I seen a video. Somebody sent me a video of me in high school. And I was thinking back when I was in high school. And I was like, I never in my life would think I would be here in this moment. Like, I never would have thought, oh, yeah, I'm living in Mexico with my boyfriend. We got a fucking cholo squinkly, a dog with no damn hair, two cats. I'm doing YouTube for a living. Like, it's crazy. Like, life just be life in, you know? And you can do whatever you want in life. Like, you can literally change something in an instant. We live literally hella long like low-key we be living long as fuck we're literally put on this earth to experience you know experience anything we want when i have kids they can literally see in the past like me present day right now when i was 21 years old they can watch my videos and be like that was my that's how she fucking acted like you're not funny <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy to me because we came like so far from technology because when i was a kid like i barely have any pictures when i was a baby i probably have like 20 30 30 max you know the amount of pictures and videos my sisters have from when they were young like they can see every stage from growing up and then to think about my little sister baby maya like she can see literally every month of her life because we we record take pictures of everything it's actually crazy like it's like why does nobody talk about this like about cry <laughs> like why is this crazy like i just really wonder how the future is gonna be you know and my future kids better be proud of me okay y'all better not be embarrassed of your mom because she was a little youtuber and she used to act a damn mess on the internet if you're watching this if you're fucking watching this way they probably speak spanish i'm about to speak in spanish and they're gonna make fun of my no sabo spanish si esta viendo este pinche video y'all better be proud of your damn mom okay <laughs> 
Sorry guys, I get emotional when I'm drunk. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do the top of my eyebrows and I'm gonna be back because my camera's literally about to die. I've been recording for like two hours. I feel like I'm so fun to be around when I'm drunk. Like literally, I'm so fun. If you ever get the chance to party me when I'm drunk, because I actually met a girl in Gabo, where she like watched my TikTok videos and we were gonna party together. Like literally, we're gonna go to this club, but like they were trying to have us pay cuatro mil for a bottle. 4,000 pesos. I was like, girl, buy. That's what I have to say to you, because f you at this point. Like, f you. So we didn't even get to party together, but that would have been so fun. Like, I'm just a vibe. Like, I'm just so fun to be around. Like, I'm just the realest. Yes. I forgot how that song went. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, don't, don't forget about me. See you guys in one second. Y'all, tell me these eyebrows don't eat. How the, like, how, like, am I a, what's the word? Genius. That's the word. Am I a genius? Cause look at these eyebrows. While I'm drunk, two four plus four. I'm gonna give you guys an embarrassing story time. I used to be a volleyball player back in my day. I actually love playing volleyball. Volleyball is so fun. We went with my concuñada. She invited us to this family volleyball tournament, and it was so freaking fun. It made me like realize how much I miss playing volleyball. Also, I need to take a shot for the concealer. Oopsie daisy. Mexicano se grita. Actually, I want to sing that because I sound so damn good. No sé este pinche canción. No es pinche canción. Perdón, perdón. Tengo todo el respeto para mi México hermoso. Mexicano se grita de guerra. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That just confirmed I'm a no sabo. I don't know what none of that means. Like, this is. Sectionally through my phone. This is like high event Spanish. Mexicanos al grito de guerra. Okay. El acero a prestar y bridon. I give up. I think I'm just gonna do blush, lip liner, lipstick, and that's gonna be it. And mascara. That's four more shots. Y ya estoy peda la verga. Oh my god, my boyfriend and his friends can probably hear me. I don't know about you guys. Like, I be feeling so embarrassed to use, like, Mexican slang around, like, Mexicans born and raised. Because, like, have you guys ever heard anybody who tries to use slang? It's obviously not their slang. Like, you did not grow up here. You're not saying it right. You know what I mean? That's how I feel like I sound sometimes. <laughs> this doesn't count as a makeup step, right? You're lying. Okay, so the volleyball story time. So basically, when I was in high school, I randomly decided one day I want to play volleyball and I want to do it professionally. Like, I don't know why when I want to do something, like, I want to be the best at it. And, like, I know I can do it. Like, for some reason, I'm always so delusional that I just know, like, I will be the top if I really try it. You know what I mean? I feel like we should all be delusional like that. Honestly, because that's how you get there. What do you have to lose? Like, how do you know you actually can't do it? You can do whatever you put your mind to, you know? So I was like, yeah, fuck it. My fucking five one ass is gonna be in Stanford, okay? Watch, watch and learn. So at this time, I just moved to a new high school and their volleyball was literally D1. Good volleyball, you know? Varsity team was full of like fucking six foot white girls. Like, you know, they were good. So, you know, I tried out hella confident. Like, girl, I got this. I've been practicing all summer. Tell me why I didn't even make JV. Yeah, that was embarrassing. It was very humbling. You guys just don't want to mess with me because I'm fucking 5'1", okay? I could literally be libero and, like, take us to championship, but whatever. I don't remember if this was before or after I tried tryouts. I actually went to go play for a club volleyball team, y'all. My little excited ass, I went to tryouts. First of all, these girls have been playing since they came out the wound. Literally. And these girls are, like, volleyball players for real. Tall as hell, skinny. Like, I'm probably the shortest in there first of all everybody makes a team because like obviously they want money and that place was expensive bro so i joined a team whatever i'm like excited i think this was before high school tryouts because i was trying to get ready like i literally begged 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 my mom to take me so i make a team so we're like starting competition season all that tell me why i'm not playing one damn single game so i'm the underdog so you know i you know i stayed there and i was like you know what let me show my potential okay because they just don't believe in me but i'm about to be the next stanford commit okay <laughs> I played a few games, but I would play like five minutes type stuff. And like those club games 
were a whole nother world. Like, I thought it was funny games. No, girl. They trying to kill you with that spike. It was too much for me. I wasn't even playing either. So I was like, okay, I don't want to do this no more, mom. Like, I was like literally crying. Like, I'm literally ass. Like, I'm the most ass on the team, for real. Like, get me out of this. Dude, tell me why we couldn't even get out of it. It was more expensive to get out of the club. Like, they were literally trying to charge us so much money. I don't remember how much it was, but it was like be for real type of money you know so dude okay this is really bad like don't cancel me but we had to end up telling them like literally somebody in my family got cancer and like we needed to pay for like medical bills so we couldn't like pay the monthly bills no more that's what we do had to say to get out of that membership like it was literally a scam bro like first of all i'm not playing i'm not even going to practice no more like get me the hell out of this y'all really don't need me you know these girls got money bro you do not need my money like we're struggling as it is let me go. Okay, so I just did mascara. So that's another shot. Mega no salgrita. Blush. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done, okay? Ya estoy peda, ya estoy peda. Ya, 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 no quiero tomar. Ya no quiero tomar. Déjame en paz, por Just kidding. I'm down to take another shot. If you take a shot. <laughs> okay, what was I going to say? Like, can you guys believe I actually moved to Mexico? Like, that's actually crazy i literally love my life here like i get this question so much like what do i most miss about the u.s like what's so different about the mexico blah, 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 blah. first of all the people i feel like people in the u.s are so cold bro like everybody's in their own world like don't fuck talk to me like i'm walking let me get my shit done and get home you know what i mean and i feel like i even used to be like that like at times i am like that and like in mexico people we just be talking like talking 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 it don't matter who you are you know and another thing because a lot of people have asked me because they want to move to mexico type stuff they ask me like what's the thing you miss the most what's kind of hard to get adjusted to so i live in a city i don't live in a pueblo i don't live in a rancho none of that <laughs> And it's still so hard for me to find like products that you can find in the US. Like if you're a materialistic person that loves to shop, that loves to go to Target and have like random shopping sprees, maybe Mexico is not for you because we have Walmarts here, but they're nothing like the Walmarts in the US. Like the US has so much variety of things, like it's crazy. Like when it comes to self-care, skincare, makeup, like the variety is crazy. And here in Mexico, it's just not the same. And I live in a city. But if you live in like a major city, like Ciudad de Mexico, Guadalajara like obviously you're gonna find everything you need if you go somewhere else like it's gonna be really hard to find products that you love from the US that's one of the reasons why I love Mexico because I feel like the US is so capitalistic hold on hold on hold on I can't see I can't see it's promoted to go buy random shit that you really don't need like you don't need it at all you know and here it's not like that like you buy what you need and that's it you know what I mean it kind of restricts me in a way not like in a bad way but like to buy unnecessary things because you walk into target bro everything's like so pretty so colorful like there's so much stuff you just want to buy so much like every time i go into target like i just want to buy hella stuff that i really don't need and in mexico it's not like that like there's like not that much product so you don't really want to buy stuff because there's just not that much you know what i mean la mera mera de neta like tengo un chingo de ganas de twerkear like i just want to shake some ass right now down to the float like i feel like that conversation was low-key boring next Let's shake some ass. Wait, I don't know if I'm the only one, but like, do you guys be hella shy to twerk? <laughs> like when I'm with my best friends, like Naomi and all them, I don't know why, but I be hella shy to twerk because like they got ass for real. And I got like a little something, something back there, but they got and they be like moving it like water. Like it's crazy. So like I know I can't compete. So I don't even want to try. You know what I mean? Like am I the only one? I'm like okay I'm going to do a little. Uh, soy una perra calor. Like, like a little. Ee, ee. But like to be twerking that ass. Like I'm shy. Stop it. Yo soy una perra en calor. Guys I have a funny story. Because I just remembered because I'm drunk right now. Mi prima. No it's mi prima. It's la prima de mi novio. De Michael. But like she's my prima. Like that's my girl now. Dude one time we got drunk we got so drunk it was so fun it was actually on spring break i actually did a video on this like i vlogged the whole thing if you guys can see it i think i'm gonna do a little red lip like i've been liking the red lips lately we got so drunk and it was so funny because like we like made this joke that we have homework to do and you guys know what the homework was because like we're all there with our couples i'm out of breath Ooh. We're making a joke like you guys just had to be there Yay! but the homework was to like 
you know, like do the deed. And we're like making a joke that we're gonna name the kids because there's three couples. So it's gonna be Mexico. Like one kid me, one kid he, one kid go. Tell me why, bro. This girl is pregnant with twins. I was like, girl, you did your homework. You did your homework. Now you got Mexi. Oh my God. I what in the our damn nation is this? Hey, let's put on the lipstick. Oh wait, that's a shot. Bundo, 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 bundo. Bitch, now we better finish the bottle. Híjole, híjole de la chingada madre. Oh my god, I'm drunk. There has literally not been one shot where I don't burp after. Guys, this lipstick's actually pretty bomb. Like, I used it yesterday because we I filmed for the Buchona video. And we went to go eat all that. And the lipstick stayed on the whole time. And that's, like, never happened to me. Okay, let's fix this up because it's getting scary. Yo soy una perra en calor. I'm about to perrear right now. So, don't be surprised when you see some don't be surprised if you feel the earth moving. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm done. I need to take one more shot. This is my last shot for the lipstick. Let's get it. I'm tired. I'm about to knock out after this. Where am I? My boyfriend just might have the time of his life. <laughs> I can't even see. This is serious. No jokes. Fupa check, cause can you get inside the f skinny girl check? <laughs> I'll be right back. Ya es tiempo, perras. I'm tired. Can you guys tell me I'm tired? Damn. Why is my forehead that big? <laughs> Titty about to fall out. If you got a big old booty, shake that. His ass get bigger. He gon' eat it like a sneaker. Act up, you can get snatched up. Suck on my dick and I give you a kiss. I like him nasty, nasty. I know this song word by word. On my life, man. Say, if I did, I'm a knowledge winner. Let me eat my ass like a cupcake. My man, fool, he just ate. I'll duck nobody but take. Yeah, it's a set. It's a set. Don't worry about my butt face. What worry about y'all? Uh, shake these, these girls on my son, John K. Plus, eight, when I walk in, sit up straight. I'll give a if I was late. Did on my man on E5 is my idea of an update. Huh, huh, one, huh, huh, two. Big titties, big butt, two. With them real, who don't tell what they up to? How to shop by the name Top Men? Hun, 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 hun. These bitches kinda f These bitches kinda test me even if the name was Pop Quiz. Bad bitches I'll f with my man who's I'll f with. I ate that up and gobbled it and dookied it out. Don't lie to yourself. I'm gonna be honest, like these new age twerking songs, like they just don't hit like old age twerking songs, you know what I mean? Like those old school twerking songs. Like this one! Put it me down, put it me down. Like it just don't hit like that no more. You guys need to do better. I guess I'm gonna go crazy. That shit did not eat. <laughs> what was that? I thought I went crazy. I'm fucking tired. I'm tired. No, 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 no. no. That clock on the car. And give me head. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Lick my. Like, if you guys don't know these songs, like, where, what did you do with your life? Like, literally. Like, what songs were you listening to? Party in the USA! Like, no, 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 no. Get on it. Now. Why am I low-key not sweating? And I just did, like, hella cardio. But I'm actually running out of footage, so that, I think that's time to get off this. Because I feel like this video's been, like, so long. But I love you guys. Like, I love you guys so much. Like, you guys actually don't understand how much I love you guys. Like, you might think, like, like, she's just an influencer, like,
Why did my camera literally die? I'm like the most emotional speech of my life. But anyways, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys don't know how much like your support means to me. Like, just know I love you guys, and like I read every single one of your guys' comments, and like it just makes my day. Like you guys don't even know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me getting turned drunk, being peda, pedisima, and I'll see you guys next week. Two videos a week. You already know. Like, who doing it like me? Like seriously. Like, let me know. Like, I don't. I don't know. And this makeup look is actually so bomb. Is this like the everyday look now? My neck, my back, lick my, and my crack. <laughs> See y'all on the prairie. <laughs> yeah!